Hello everyone, so in a previous video I took a free pair of sunglasses, took the lenses out, and then put those lenses over a GoPro Session 5 as a makeshift ND filter. So I recommend you go watch that video before you watch this video because I'll probably be referencing the results of that um, in this video. So in this video I'm going to talk about the new, well new for me, uh, GoPro Hero 6 and a real ND filter um, that's high quality glass. Uh, this one's an ND16. So I'm going to be talking about um, camera and ND filter stuff in this video and about the newer camera compared to the older camera. So let's start there with the camera. So the GoPro Hero 6, first off, it's a lot heavier. But I think that image quality is worth it, um, at least on my setup, because I fly 6 inch. Um, the extra weight isn't too much of a hindrance on the performance of my quad. So I think I'm going to stick with um, the Hero 6 because my Session 5 died and I don't feel like buying a new one because the Hero 6 has better image quality anyways. Um, just the image looks a lot sharper and the colors are definitely better um, even at the same exact settings so I run 2.7k 30 frames a second super view and the footage just looks way better with this camera so I definitely think it is worth the extra weight that I have to carry especially since I don't I'm not racing with a GoPro or anything so uh, with that said let's talk about um, ND filters and some of the testing I did. So first of all let's just talk about the quality of this ND filter compared to the makeshift one that was made out of a free pair of sunglasses. So um, the biggest difference I noticed with this immediately was the color looked the same with or without this filter on the camera compared to with the sunglasses it had some kind of weird discoloration going on which it still looked fine but it just looked like there was some kind of like post um, color grading already applied to the footage and this keeps it with that raw look which means you can do more with it in post um, and uh, as I mentioned in the previous video with the sunglasses ND filter a bunch of like dust and stuff got stuck on it because of like static electricity of polishing the lens no problem with this one because it's glass um, and it helped a lot and there are no lens flare issues because it's just straight on the camera it's not that curved lens that allows light to bleed in from the sides and bounce into the camera that way so um, worth the money I would say this was like 25 bucks on Amazon um, and it produces great footage and it doesn't really detract from the image quality of the GoPro and it just helps with the motion blur so motion blur is basically what I'm going for with this filter um, some people also like them to get rid of jello I personally do not agree with using a ND filter is a fix for jello because that is really an issue that needs to be addressed with your setup not with your camera so I wanted to experiment with different shutter speeds because I really wanted to see how the GoPro can handle a fixed shutter speed and because it has to react really fast to changing light conditions so in the footage that you're watching you'll see that um, I go under a bunch of trees and it's real shady and darker there and then I'll pull out of those trees right into the direct sunlight and you can see how the camera responds to that and in all the settings I tried it responded great which I'm really happy with so um, first I tried just auto to see how that went and with that it, def it definitely was changing the shutter speed along with the ISO and the ISO is basically how sensitive it makes the camera sensor. So it's definitely changing both of those because uh, like under the trees it'd be a little more blurry and then in the sunlight it'd be more choppy, which um, I don't really like that. 
So then I tried uh, 1 60th of a second for the shutter speed, and that follows the general rule that you sh your shutter speed should be half of your frame rate. So I'm running 30 frames a second, so I'll do a uh, 1 60th of a second shutter speed. And it looks really good, but I think for acro it's a little too blurry. Um, and honestly, it kind of hurts my eyes with the faster moves because, um, actually not with the faster moves, with the slower movements, it hurts my eyes because everything gets blurry and then your eyes are like trying to focus and find a clear image and it can't find that clear image. So I think it's too blurry for, for the amount of motion with acro flying. With more cinematic flying, I think it would look great but I think for um, hard acro flying, it's not suitable. But you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments because that's just my opinion. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about that as well. So that was 1 60th of a second shutter speed. And then I anticipated it would be pretty blurry. So I went ahead and tried 1 1 20th and I think that's a pretty good blend of, of crispiness of the image and blur. Something to note is that when you change the shutter speed, it lets more or less light into the camera. So like with the 1 1 20th of a second shutter speed, it lets less light into the camera. So you can use that to your advantage if you have, like me, I only have one filter currently. So like I would definitely use the faster shutter speed in brighter lighting conditions so you don't blow out the image too much um, because the camera is limited in how much it can like go up and down with the sensitivity of the sensor when it can't change the shutter speed as well to deal with the changing lighting conditions. And that's another thing I like about this camera is it has a screen on the back so I can just like point it into the light before I fly and just check to see if I'm gonna have a blown out image whereas with the other cameras like the Session 5, you just basically had to guess or hook it up to your phone, but um, that's kind of a pain because the Wi-Fi like drains the battery quicker and I just liked to leave that off when that camera wasn't broken. So yeah, that's I think all I have to say about this new camera setup I'm running. So it's GoPro Hero 6, this is an ND16 filter off Amazon for 25 bucks. And let me know what you guys think about the different settings down in the comments below. And also let me know what you think about the image quality of the Hero 6 versus the Hero 5 session. And with all that said, just enjoy the rest of this footage. And I'm just going to cut it off here so you guys can just watch me flying some. Um, so like this video, you liked it, get subscribed if you want to see more content like this in the future. And thanks for watching.